of the grandsons of the holy prophet the imam salam, he said you have to seek knowledge if you are not able to memorize all that you have you learn then you must write it down and pre preserve it so you can refer to it later the holy prophet salam, was talking taking light, light slow steps when talking taking imam ali salam, to the grave because there were so much angels very crowded and because 70 rows of angels praying on the body of uh, the lady on her body I think this was the mother of Imam Ali I'm not sure um, so at the end of the day remember grave a lot remember your death a lot and remember the torches in the grave and how tight and dark it's going to be if a person says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with full attention, angels descend upon him. Um, remember Satan launches his assaults on mankind from every direction. And envy is a great trap for Satan and the person who gives up envy is loved by people. Jesus, peace be upon him, said the next world is not attained except by abandoning, abandoning this one. So pass through the world without making it to your home. Jesus also said, peace be upon him. Blessed is the person who abandons the present desire for the absent promise. Who would build a house on sea? This world is that house. Jesus, peace be upon him, was asked, Teach us a deed that Allah will love us. Jesus said, Detest the world and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you. The Messiah, Jesus, السلام, verily, the eating of barley bread to and the drinking of plain water today is in the world in this world is for he who would enter heaven tomorrow also he also said you work for the sake of this world while it is not by work that you are provided in it and you do not work for the next world and it is only by work that you will be provided in it and also keep remembering the darkness of the grave inshallah I want to make it a jannet no doubt. Inshallah. Remember when you when you die, um, your soul comes out of your throat. So first your legs and your hand die, then your soul gets taken out, pulled out from your mouth. It's mud. And remember the the, the bridge is the thin line of a hole is very slippery. Thousand years going up, thousand years going straight, and thousand years going down. And you're going to have to pass that. Everyone has to pass that. I remember even Satan gives advice saying, don't fill up your stomachs because it will damage your worship. You'll fall asleep and you won't be able to worship. I remember if you eat interest, it's like, or even worse, than mashing your marge in Mecca, in the Kaaba. That's nuts on top of the Kaaba. That's a nuts thing. Um, so yeah, that's crazy. Just don't ever take interest. Don't ever like, give interest, receive interest. Um. Then, boy, if you live till sixty, boy, half your life people spend half their life sleeping anyway. So, um, remember, if you cannot sp spread your message in a place, go elsewhere and spread it. Um, life is just basically a test. When we die. You're gonna see everything, and you're just gonna wish to come back and do as much good deeds as possible. Um, yes. Yeah, so, Mam Sadiq says, "Listen, I'm all young people. Fear a last panther and do not follow bossy people. Leave them to themselves until they realize their sins. Do not adopt anyone to be your boss. Um, just don't. You know, them ones there. The angel Jibril told the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam." This is the last time I'm going to come down to the earth when the Prophet was on his deathbed. When the Prophet وسلم, was on his deathbed. Also, try saying La ilaha illallah a thousand times a day and try thinking of the creation of the heavens and the earth and the universe and always um, remember the amount of hand, like, try and remember death. Like at least 20 times a day at least um, 
and uh, Imam alayhi salam said if I had 300 kids, I would call all of them Ali. Wow, so Subhanallah. Also, as you can see here, the sermon from the Imam Ali alayhi salam about the oneness of Allah, the sermon contains principles of knowledge which no other sermon contains. He says about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he who assigns to him different conditions does not believe in his oneness, nor does he who likens him to grasp his reality. He who illustrates him does not signify him. He who points at him and imagines him does not mean him. Everything that is known through itself has been created, and everything that exists by virtue of other things is the effect of a cause. He who he works but not with the help of instruments, he fixes measures but not with the activity of thinking, he reaches but not by accusation. Times do not company with him, and implements do not help him. His being precedes time, his existence precedes exist non existence, and his eternity precedes beginning. By his creating the sense of it, it, it is known that he has no senses. By the contraries, in various matters, it is known that he has no contrary. And by the similarity between things in its, it, it is known that there is no thing similar to him. He has made light the contrary of darkness, brightness the, that of gloom, dryness that of moisture, and heat that of cold. He produces affection among inimical things. He fuses together diverse things, brings near remote things, and separate things which are joined together. Well, Imam Ali describes the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amazing. Just amazing. The Holy Prophet said that when a person recites Bismillah, then for 5,000 ruby palaces are built for him in Jannah, each palace has 1,000 chambers made of pearls and each chamber has 70,000 thrones of emerald and each throne has 70,000 carpets made from each carpet a beautiful holy rain wife. A person asks for the conditions to get the, this, the Prophet said, replied, the person should recite Bismillah with conviction and understanding. The Prophet also said when a believer crosses the Sarat, the straight path over hell, the thin line, in the, on the day of judgment he will say Bismillah then the flames beneath him will start dying and hell would, would and he will pass hell hell would say pass when a teacher teaches a child to, receive, to recite Bismillah the child his parents also and the teacher are all guaranteed freedom from her fire the prophets Asa Jesus Asa, walked past a graveyard he saw a grave child a grave getting punished and then he noticed that the mercy of Allah after a couple of years was put on the grave and it was said because his child grew old and his mother took him to a teacher who taught him Bismillah so a man got mercy and blessed in his grave and saying Bismillah aloud is a sign of a believer and is closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's great name and before you do anything say Bismillah so you can get blessed in that specific thing yeah. And Alhamdulillah, we say Alhamdulillah and SubhanAllah. Um, and also, when the pagan Arabs were throwing stone rocks at the Holy Prophet, وسلم, so much blood was rushing out. The angel Jabriel came down and said, You see this mountain? If you want, I can get it and dash it all over, dash the whole mountain on the head. The Prophet وسلم, asked if Allah SubhanAllah ordered that. And the Jibra'i said, all the angels in the heavens and the earth are crying about what happened to you. And the Prophet said, put his hands in the sky and said, oh Allah, forgive my people for they do not know. See how merciful this Prophet was.